In this video, I'm going to show you how to set a limit order so you can buy and sell Bitcoin at your desired price even when you're sleeping. Hey, welcome to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you on Coinbase Pro how to set a limit order. And for that, here I am on the Coinbase Pro trade page where currently I'm trading BTC with Euro. But this applies to any currency you want. You can select any combination of coins here and you'll be able to set a limit order and this is not limited only to Coinbase Pro you can apply this technique on any other crypto exchange but I usually recommend Coinbase Pro because this is popular with beginners and even though it has a higher transaction fees than the other crypto exchanges it doesn't have any withdrawal fee so on other exchanges you can buy Bitcoin for $100 for example but to withdraw the funds you'll have to pay $5 in Bitcoin but on Coinbase Pro you don't have to pay that withdrawal fee so it's easy for you to buy any amount of Bitcoin or cryptocurrency and then you'll be able to easy withdraw to your own wallet. So what exactly is a limit order? A limit order you'll find it here on the left hand side. Right now it's set on market and we have limit and stop. So in this video we'll discuss the limit order. This is available for buying or but also for selling. So let me first tell you what the market order is. Whenever you say I want to buy 100 euro worth of Bitcoin what will happen you'll see here on the order book there are people that are selling Bitcoin at a price and people that are buying Bitcoin at a certain price so if you are buying at market price you'll fill in this sell orders let's say you want to buy 10 Bitcoin that will mean it will fill in all these orders so it will buy starting at 8,620 euros up to maybe uh, 8624 euros so you'll pay for all these sell transactions here the same when you're selling if you are selling 10 bitcoin at market price it will fill in all the orders down here in the buy zone up to 10 uh, bitcoin that you want to sell so you'll be selling at 8615 but also 8606 euros but let's say you want to buy bitcoin only when it reaches 8000 euros or 8000 dollars Right now the price is 8,600. So if you place a market order now, you'll buy at this price. But if you go here at limit, you'll be able to say how much you want to buy. Let's say I want to buy one Bitcoin at the price of, and it will fill in the market price. But instead of this, we can set this to 8,000. And here we see the fee and total we amount you have to pay. And if I place a buy order, which I won't be able to do now because I don't have funds for this transaction, you'll buy the one Bitcoin at this price whenever the price goes down and uh, reaches that level. The same for sell. If I want to sell one Bitcoin, it will fill in the market price. But let's say I want to sell one Bitcoin whenever it reaches 10,000. So it won't sell it now. But uh, if it reaches 10,000 and until you cancel this order, it will sell at 10,000. So you can be out, you can be at work, you can be at the gym, you can be sleeping. It doesn't matter. This order will fill in for you, even though you are not close to your computer. Let's say I want to sell 0.001 Bitcoin at the price of, by the way, if you click here, it will automatically give you the price in this box. You place sell order. You can see my fee here, the total price. And right now the order is waiting to be filled and you can see it here my size in this column you'll see your own orders so as you can see people are selling are buying and whenever the price reaches this price point it will automatically fill my order as well so if you have 10 bitcoins to sell it won't sell at any price as it does at the market price it will only wait for the buyers that are willing to pay your price the same on the buying side, if you want to buy 10 bitcoins, it won't buy at all the prices people are selling for as it does on the market order and it will buy bitcoin for you only at the price you set. A market buy or sell order, it will fill in automatically because it will buy at any price in order to get you the amount that you desire. But with a limit order, it will take a while until your order will be filled in because it will wait until the price will get to that level that you set so that might not happen in the next uh, 10 minutes one hour one day depending how high or how low you set the price so if i want to buy bitcoin when the price is 8000 then i'll just go here on the buy limit side type in 0.01 the amount that i want to buy set the price that i want to buy at and then click place by order and the order will be placed here i can see it it's open, it's not been filled yet. When the transaction is complete, it will show here as filled. So you know that transaction has been completed. If the price of Bitcoin doesn't reach 8,000 anymore in the future, then I'll have to come back and cancel this order 
because otherwise the funds will be locked here you won't be able to use your money or your bitcoin while your while your order is open so you have to cancel it by clicking this x button and that's it this is how you set a limit order so in case you're waiting for a pullback for the price to go down a bit then you'll set a limit order and you wait for the price to drop or you can decide that you want to sell your bitcoin when it reaches 10,000, for example and you set a limit order and just leave it there wait for it to, to reach that target i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you find it helpful if you did like the video leave a comment below if you do so you'll have the chance to win $10 worth of Bitcoin. So if you'd like to earn free Bitcoin, like the video, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.